Hey folks, it's Lauren from Snowy's here with the Darchi Tracker 1200 Camp Table. It's a super smooth, easy clean surface table. It's compact, lightweight, heat resilient and ideal for any car camping adventures. So your table comes in this heavy duty polyester bag. We have some webbing uh, carry handles here and they're reinforced at the stress point um, on the back on the inside of the bag as well. Your table weighs about seven and a half kilos and the pack dimensions are 60 centimeters square by about seven centimeters thick. Now, when we pull the table out of the bag, the first thing you'll notice is this carry handle here. Now, I don't know about you guys, but on my camp table at home, that's a couple of years old, the carry handle has long since been shot. This one is nice and um, plastic, like really thick plastic. We've got these metal hubs here with um, some, some pot rivets in there and the handle moves in and out easily, but it's so strong, like that's not gonna rip anytime soon. Now, these two latches on either side are what locks the table together when it's in transit. So we'll flick those open and open out the table. So once the table's here and open up, on each side, we've got instead of like a swing hook loop, we've lock, sorry, we've got this slide lock here, which just flips over into place. And we'll do this other side as well. So once we've locked your pins in the place and you know your table's nice and rigid, we'll pull the legs out. Now we'll grab these little spots here with the rubber caps and pull those ones out. And then we're gonna swing your U arm over the top and lock them into place on the clips here. And on the other side, we'll do the same. Pull this leg out. And then lock them into place. Now, if you are just sitting around the camp and you want a nice low table, like coffee table style, you can actually set your table up just like this. And it will sit nice and sturdy at this height, which is around about 38 centimeters from the ground here. Now, if you wanna make it a full size table, we've got these four legs here that stow away in this little uh, crab claw clips, I call them, keep the legs into place. Now on the ends here, you can see that we've got like a little plastic uh, knob, I guess, which is rounded off. But the nifty thing about these is that they also screw out individually. So if you are on rocky or uneven ground or your table's wobbling a little bit, you can adjust each of the little feet so you can get a nice flat uh, balanced table set up. So I'll just screw this one back down and then I will slide each of these extension legs into these little plastic sockets here. We've got a little metal locking pin which will keep it into place once it's pushed in. There we go, that one. We'll pop this one over here too. And then we'll get these last two legs. Now your table's all set up. Now when it's fully set, your table measures a metre 20 long, around about 60 centimetres deep, and it sits about 70 centimetres off the ground. Now the tabletop itself is an alloy. It's really nice and smooth, which means it'll be super easy to clean up any dirt, dust, dirt, spills, anything like that. It's also heat resistant, which means that you might not get away with putting a freshly hot pot on it or a camp oven from the fire, for example, but you'd definitely be able to use your camp stove with this table as well. The outside rail is also a nice alloy, which gives it a bit of strength and makes it really resistant to any bumps or dings. The frame itself as well is a powder coated steel. Now the table doesn't come with a specified weight rating but if we give a bit of a lean on it, I'll put a fair bit of weight into this here, I can feel the table legs are splaying out a little bit. I think that a lot of the reason for this is maybe because we're on a concrete floor but if you're on grass or gravel it shouldn't slip too much and I can feel there is a little bit of a, a bowing or a dipping of the tabletop itself but not too much at all. So whether you wanna chuck a big tub of your dishwater on here or your camp stove or load it up with all your dinner food items, things like that, you shouldn't have a problem at all. So 
that's about it for the Darchi Tracker 1200. I'm gonna show you how to pack it up. So the first thing we're gonna do is flip the table over and remove these legs and stow them back into their clips. Now next bit here, we're going to pull this little U-bar out of these clamps here, swing it back over the top and tuck the legs down. The same on the other side. Swing it over the top and tuck the legs back down. Now we'll also at this point release these slide locks like so and fold the table shut. Now once your table's shut, we're gonna pop together these locking pins to keep it all together nice and safe. And we'll pop the table away in its bag. Now I have tried this one time before in the reverse with putting the bag up from the bottom and it didn't go too well. It's a nice tight fit and these corners do get stuck here. So I like to turn it upside down, make sure those locking pins are definitely away and we'll pop, pull the bag over the top like so. There we go, that wasn't hard at all. Zips up. And there we go, all packed up and ready for an adventure. You can get the Darchi Tracker 1200 table at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you found this video helpful, give us a like. If you've got any questions or comments, chuck them below. You can head here to subscribe or here for more helpful videos. Catch you later, Snowies fam.